Brandon God and Charles Davis ready for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup as you get a peek at some of the big players in today's game. And you're a big player in today's game as well. Let's get the party started. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Miami. Kadarius Tony gonna elect to bring this one out. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. They'll wind up getting a yard on the game's first play at second down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. And that one was relatively easy to see. I noticed that from up here. Yeah, it doesn't take a whole lot, does it? Sometimes you get multiples. What I always love on these offsides is when each side points at the other. Hey, you <laughs> did it. No, you did it. They deciphered that one correctly. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Third play of this opening drive as they're looking at a third and three. They'll run with Taylor. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Faced with their first third down conversion opportunity and able to punch it through and pick it up on the ground. And to me, doing it on the ground sends a different type of a message than throwing the football. And you know, let's face it, we've done a lot of games together. How often have we seen third down turn into an automatic passing down no matter what the yard is. Yeah, and last thing you want, that opening drive to go three and out. You got everything scripted, lined up. Let's get some points on the board. They're able to avoid that three and out. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two-yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 45-yard line. A nice pick up there, 10 yards. But that's what you're looking for when you want to throw the ball downfield. You want one of those guys who can play out on the perimeter, can play out wide, who can not only get open, but when they're covered, can uncover themselves downfield and create catches. First and 10, Taylor now. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Back to Taylor on first down. And not much running room. Down to the 32. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Taylor. And all the way in for the touchdown. Jonathan Taylor, 32 yards. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. So they get the ball on the opening drive. They take it in for the score. And how about setting the tone right away? Everyone talks about wanting to do that, but you always hear it in every locker room. First five minutes of the game, who's going to set the tone? Who's going to take control? 
Guess who just did? Well, now on the next drive, you, you, when you score that quickly or you're scored that quickly against, probably feel like you need to respond. Yeah, without a doubt. In other words, you've actually put the pressure even more so on your opponent. And they'll accept that penalty. Now from five yards further back, this becomes a 37-yard extra point attempt. It's up and good, and it'll give his guys a 7-0 lead. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. Chalk of the 20. Now problems right out of the gate. We're going to get a delay. So they'll go ahead and accept the penalty. zero and this is not the way to start a drive successive penalties have them looking now at a first and 20 now Allen and he goes down it's a sack they get him back at his own three yard line Micah Hyde comes flying in from safety for the sack. Well, the very first thing they told us, Charles, was we need to apply pressure early, and I would call that early pressure a nice sack to start the game. <laughs> and on the other sideline, I just have this image in my mind of the head coach on the headset with the offensive coordinator asking him if that's exactly what he saw in his mind when he called that play. And if so, is it going to be like this all day? That's a tough one right there. Allen now on first down. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. On second down, here's Allen. A short one there to Fryermuth. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations, but a guy of his size can't really hide him. But the tight end drag route. Look at this, middle of the field, a breakaway. Now inside the 25. Touchdown, Giants. Saquon Barkley, 57 yards. And the Giants respond to that opening drive touchdown with one of their own. Graham Gano on for the extra point. And that is off the left, upright. It's no good. The kicking team out there for the Giants as they will send this one away. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. 
And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Garden as we watch this long drive continue to begin quarter two as they've got it with a first and ten. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Now, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. On third down, here's Taylor. And they'll bring him down right at midfield, and he is well short of the first down. Now on fourth down, we've got a whistle here and a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. And they're going to at least line up to go for it here on fourth down. Here we go. It's Pickett on fourth down. And it's going to be batted down. And we'll go the other way with the football. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And this defense will take over right at midfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Oh, there's plenty of traffic waiting for him up the middle. But give him credit, he tried barreling through anyway. They're fortunate to get a yard out of that one. Running again with Barkley on second down. It's a four-yard pickup there, and it leaves him with third and five. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. And he will have a Giants first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. A first down carry for Barkley. Down at the 35. It'll be second down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. From the 35, here's second down and seven. Allen going to throw. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. I know we can't do a mind meld and really know exactly what he was thinking, but I didn't see an open receiver there. Maybe, possibly, he did that on purpose and just overthrew him. Yeah, coverage was good, so maybe indeed that was a, another way to throw it away if you try to get it to back up, and it's intercepted. Picked by Kendall Fuller, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. A kind of a lucky break on the prior drive, Charles. The turnover on downs that the offense had didn't come back to bite them after the other side. Their defense came through, was able to hold them without any points. I would agree with you, partner. A little bit of a lucky break indeed, but you know what they'd say to us. No luck, just pure skill. We rose to the challenge, and we didn't permit a score. That taking it right down Broadway. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. 106 yards rushing here for Taylor. He's got a first down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running straight ahead, Taylor. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. 
we didn't need to ask around the league, but we got to confirm this guy's a good player. They've got to find a way to get him more involved, call a few more plays that target him. Absolutely, because here we are toward the end of the first half, and that's the first target, not just the first catch, first target. 12 more yards there and another first down. Back to throw, pick it. That's complete to the fullback, Ricard. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. Pick it right back to the air again. Looking for Tony on the out route, and he's got him. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 13-yard line. It's a pickup of 15 and a fresh set of downs. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Pick it. And it's caught. Touchdown. Dallas got her as the first half is winding down. And they are able to add on to their advantage. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played with the analytics. There's going to be a lot more of going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. And yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Giants offense at the line ready to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively or offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Throwing now is Allen. He's got a man complete. He's on his way. Darren Waller. And all the way in. Touchdown, New York. Darren Waller in the final seconds of the first half. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. And that's a terrific score. And now, what are we going to do here? Do you go for two? You know what the people at home want. <laughs> Everybody wants to go for two. The analytics people probably want them to go for two. I bet they kick the extra point. We've got a whole second half left to play. Yeah, we get a look at it here. But, hey, whatever the case, big time play before the end of the second quarter. Goes right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game. And it works out. So the late touchdown ties things as they will kick this one away in the final stages of the half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn getting set for quarter number three here. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. The 
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Now Allen. A short one there to fire move. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from me a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Allen's throw complete to Flyermuth. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. Zone coverage here defensively. They're going to let their tight end run a drag across the field. This is where a linebacker gets forced to pass him off. That time, the receiver gets lost a little bit. He's able to make the catch and pick up good yardage in a first down. To the 27-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route. And that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. To throw, it's Allen. A short one there to fire you. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. Allen going to go on fourth down. Here's Firemuth again. And he is going to have the Giants first down as they'll wind up getting seven there on fourth and three. It's Barkley on the counter. And he stopped immediately there. That tackle by Jeffrey Simmons. Looked like he was trying to bounce it outside, but no success. Yeah, sometimes you got to just figure out where you're going to go, and sometimes you just have to take it to another spot. And trying to get it outside, the defensive pursuit was there. And he'll go down. Right down at the 20-yard line. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. They've gobbled up over 30 yards of turf so far, but a sack knocks them backwards. And that interrupts the momentum they were building. Good opportunity for the defense to escape this drive before they get to the end zone. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. They overrode him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. On fourth down, on is Graham Gano for the Giants' field goal. Spotted at the left hash, this from 45. And it bangs off the left upright and deflects away. It's no good. And we will remain tied here in this third quarter. So a chance to give his guys a second half lead there, but it goes by the wayside. And Brandon, that's the worst sound in the world for an NFL kicker. Gong! That was good. Do that again. Gong! And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. This a second and seven from the 37. Now a handoff, Taylor with it. And they get him behind the line, so that short gain on first down quickly negated. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing on third down, here's Pickett. And that is incomplete. 
He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is unusual because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm when he delivers it with confidence. And they bring their punter out there now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Here's Beckham. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he gets it down to the 32. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. A give to Barkley out of the gun. And he'll get this just inside the 30-yard line. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. If they get nothing else here on third down, it'd be a 53-yard attempt from this spot. Allen now looks to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him. Uh, find him. Find him. And he put enough leg into it, but it's well off to the right and no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty, and now you wonder, will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, run through the post, and this thing could be over. It's a pretty strong running there as he'll take this across the 50 and down to the 44. They go to the ground again with Taylor. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Tackle made that time by Vito Vea. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Now a give to Taylor. And this time he won't even make it back to the line of scrimmage as they stop him in his tracks. Two yards the loss, and now third and twelve. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Pick it a look to throw it here. Open man right side is Tony. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, Nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Here's first and ten. Hey, hey. On the handoff. This is Taylor. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Second down, another run with Taylor. And he's able to get it to the edge of the red zone at the 20-yard line. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. On the handoff, Taylor. 
And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run we just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. Here's second down. They run with Taylor. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you've got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Touchdown! Devontae Adams, an 11 yard touchdown. And his guys have taken the lead. And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. Extra point up and through by Myers. And the lead is now 21-14. And after the touchdown, here's Myers to boot it away. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Here's first down. Allen. And that going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle. Kind of scam the crowd. See if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit. As if... And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. A big play needed, no doubt. Third and long. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. No choice but to go. Here's fourth down now. Now Allen, got to have this one. He's going to let it fly. And it's knocked away and incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. They've got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. And he's across for the late touchdown.
the continuity of opportunities for stacking bands. Opportunity to stack your figures with your hands. I can show you how to get your figures in advance. I don't see nobody.